history has always showed us a path forward. From a long time ago to the present day, our world has seen thousands of cities grow, thrive, and change over time. While civilization has given us a blueprint for how we construct our cities and our environment, it is up to us to forge our own destinies. In Star Wars, there's a belief that even one person's actions can make a significant difference to the entire galaxy. Now it's your turn to shape our growing first city for the better. Let's explore the evolution of cities past and see what we can learn from them. As first city booms and faces challenges for its future existence, your mission is to be a force for change and create solutions to help transportation, the environment, and new buildings to make our home last for over a thousand generations. Together, we rise. The 2019-2021 LEGO LEAD season will explore how architects combine science and art to make buildings and structures for their clients. Sometimes they make new buildings, and sometimes they redesign old ones. They work as part of a larger team, just like yours. Structural, civil, and environmental engineers make sure a project suits its site. Construction workers like electricians, plumbers, and carpenters, and project managers make sure the job stays on time and within budget. Every role is important to get the job done. Together, these teams apply the same design principles, a Roman named Vitruvius created thousands of years ago. Buildings should be strong, useful, and beautiful. Our cities and towns face big issues like transportation, accessibility, and even natural disasters. How can we shape a better future for everyone? It will take teamwork, imagination, and those Vitruvian principles. What solutions can we create now to help shape an optimal future? How can we use our environment and modern day tools and technology to build first city to last? A building needs a strong foundation. In all FIRST programs, our foundation is built on our core values. Discovery, innovation, impact, teamwork, inclusion, and fun. The core values should be a part of your FIRST LEGO League experience. Use them throughout the season. Your innovation project is one component of the FIRST LEGO League Challenge. This season, you and your team will identify a problem with a building or public space in your community. Not sure where to start? The robot game field has many examples of real-world problems. Explore the real-world problem behind the mission and use it to jumpstart your work. Or pick a problem of your own to explore. Next, design a solution with your team. You may want to research how others have tried to solve this problem. You may improve a solution that already exists or find a brand new approach. Next, be sure to share your solution with others. Helpful feedback can make a good solution even better. So be sure to ask for ideas to improve. If you plan to attend an event, you will also need to prepare a presentation. Your presentation should be five minutes long. Be sure to include the problem you identified, what steps you took to research it, and how you came up with the solution you designed. Also, make sure to tell who you shared your ideas with and how you refined your solution along the way. The object of the City Shaper Robot Day is to shape your growing city with more stable, beautiful, useful, accessible, and sustainable buildings and structures. Solve the real-world problems represented in the missions to score points. As a team, identify the missions you want to solve. Design, build, and program a LEGO robot to complete the missions. Use EV3. Test and refine your program and design. Your robot will have to navigate, capture, transport, activate, or deliver objects. You and your robot will only have two and a half minutes to complete as many missions as possible. 
So be creative. Now, let's take a tour of the missions. Elevated places. If the robot is supported by the bridge, if one or more flags are clearly raised any distance only by the robot, crane. If the hooked blue unit is clearly lowered any distance from the guide hall, supported by another blue unit, and level one is completely in the blue circle. Inspection drone. If the inspection drone is supported by axle on the bridge, designed for wildlife. If the bat is supported by branch on the tree. Treehouse. In this mission, score all that apply. If a unit is supported by the tree's large branches, if a unit is supported by the tree's small branches, Traffic jam. If the traffic jam is lifted, swing. If the swing is released, elevator. If the elevator's moving parts are as follows, blue car down, balance, safety factor. If the test building is supported only by the blue beams and some beams have been knocked out at least halfway. Steel construction. If the steel structure is standing, innovative architecture. In this mission, you can only score on one option. If a designed and built structure made of white Lego bricks clearly bigger in size than a blue building unit is, completely in any circle, partly in any circle. Design and build by location. If there are any circles with at least one color matching unit completely in and flat down on the mat, please note the blue circle is not part of mission 12. By height. If there are independent stacks at least partly in any circle, add all of their heights together. Please note, a stack is one or more building units with level one touching flat down on the mat and any higher levels touching flat down on the level below. Sustainability upgrades. Upgrades are the solar panels, roof garden, and insulation. If an upgrade is supported on a stack which is at least partly in any circle, Please note, only one upgrade will count per stack. Precision. Precision tokens left on the field can result in extra points. Remember to read the robot game rules and check for any updates during the season. Use your engineering notebooks to keep track of your work and ideas throughout the season. You will be amazed at how much you will learn. Good luck this season, and remember, this is more than a challenge. It's an opportunity, a chance for citizens of the galaxy to work together, strengthening and protecting the force that binds us, and creating a place where collaboration and collective wisdom can elevate new ideas and foster growth. Together, we rise. Okay, powerful morning sa lahat ng ating taga-subaybay. Ngayong Sabado ay isa na namang specialized webinar series ang inyong mapapanood in partnership with our educational partner, the Felta Multimedia INC, Power INC, and Stemified Learning Center. Kanina sa ating video ay ipinakita ang pagbuo ng Smart City mula sa Lego Education. At first, mamaya... It will be elaborated in today's topic about smart cities entitled Ecological Sustainability and Renewable Energy. This will be the first series of our webinar for the month of July. But before we have the discussion and actual training, 
Let us start the day with a message and prayer from the head pastor of Jesus the Bread of Life Church, Pastor Fernando Sani Medina. Magandang umaga, Pastor Sani. Magandang umaga po. A powerful morning, everyone. Thank you uh, very much once again, uh, Chairman Wax, for having me here. And it's a pleasure. Hello also to Ma'am Mylene and Ma'am Jenny Lou and uh, Ma'am Annalyn. Uh, in this webinar topic, this is very interesting. And the topic is uh, ecological sustainability and uh, renew renewable energy. And uh, it reminds me in Genesis chapter 1, uh, how God created uh, everything. How God uh, created uh, uh, everything in... Uh, in our uh, or in this place or in here in earth so in earth so god is the creator of all things but you know before he create humans like us bago niya tayo nilikha god prepared everything for us humans so he prepared uh, what all the, that we need no for a habitation so in fact uh, he told Adam to take dominion and rule over the earth. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, the Lord God took man and put him in the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Actually, God uh, told Adam to uh, take care of the creation of the Lord. So human beings are to rule over every living thing here on earth. So God expects that human, uh, human being use the earth wisely and govern it with a sense of responsibility and care. And men and women are to make the earth's resources beneficial for, for themselves and develop the earth resources to make them useful for human beings. So it uh, provides a foundation for wise scientific and technological development. So this free webinar with the topic ecological sustainability and renewable energy, uh, this will teach us to sustain and remain the creation of our God. And it will become beneficial to mankind. So it reminds us, God created uh, this uh, whole earth only for us human, uh, for us to enjoy it. Okay, so let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for uh, creating us and giving us the right to govern your creation. We are so thankful and grateful, Father in heaven. So bless our uh, resource speaker, Jenelu Pangilinan. Uh, give her all the knowledge she needs in this topic. And may the listener will be enlightened with this webinar about ecological sustainability and renewable energy. Bless also Wax as the moderator. Bless Power and Felta and a STEMified Learning Center. Thank you. And bless also, Father God, the, all the participants. And give them, Lord, an open heart and an open mind. Bless this webinar from start to finish and with excitement and fulfillment. Thank you, Lord, for the success of this webinar. In Jesus' name, amen. This is your friend in Christ, Reverend Fernando. Medina, a powerful morning, everyone. Okay, marami, marami, salamat, Pastor Sani, for that uh, wonderful prayer, and of course, your demonstration of uh, God's message on creation. At yan po ang ating pagpapatuloy po natin gagawin in our activity kung saan we will appreciate the creation na ating pong gagawin with our activity na ibibigay po sa atin ng ating pong uh, resource speaker, Okay. So, for this moment also, uh, kasama po natin, of course, ang ating very supportive uh, educational partner na si Ma'am Mylene Abiba. And kasama po na din po niya ang Master Training in Robotics ng TechBook na si Ma'am Annalyn Aban. Para ipakita po sa atin ang ating mga magiging activity for today. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo, Madam Mylene Abiba and Ma'am Annalyn. Good morning po. Good morning, powerful morning to everyone. Nako, napakaganda ng ating topic for this month of July. And uh, alam nyo, you know that uh, for a fact, 
we're not just uh, preparing for the new normal in education, but we're also preparing for a new normal in building sustainable and ecologically sustainable cities. So hindi lang po dapat ang alalagaan natin yung ating, um, ang ating uh, health, but ang also our kap kap kapaligiran natin. So this is a good uh, way for us to pro probably have some suggestions or projects that we can offer to government on about uh, sustainable cities and also not just for economic um, recovery and resilience, but also for protecting the environment. So marami tayong matututunan today from Ms. Janeline and Ms. Annaline. And uh, we're, in behalf of Felta Multimedia, we're always very, very grateful na andito po tayo sa power and uh, we are always providing powerful sessions and webinar for all of you dahil kami po ay inyong kagabay kagabay dito sa ating um, learn from home teach from home again we learn and teach as one philippines god bless us all okay maraming maraming salamat no mylin for for the uh, message and of course no uh, power inc is very thankful to have FELTA and STEMI file for our continuous webinar series no, na ating po tinatalakay, specialized in robotics. So, kahapon nagkausap po kami ni, uh, ni Ma'am uh, Jenny Lu about po sa pagbuo ng group ng mga mentors specialized in robotics. So, gagawin po namin yan para uh, mas matulungan pa po namin at ma mas mapalapag po po namin ang aming pong pagnanais na makatulong sa ating mga kaguruan in preparation for, uh, for the new normal of education ngayong darating na pasukan. Of course, nandiyan din po si uh, Ma'am Annalyn. Ma'am Annalyn, would you like to, uh, to, to share something? May share po pa si Ma'am Annalyn? Yung ano ma'am? Alright, so good morning po to everyone. Powerful morning. Okay, today po we'll be uh, sharing uh, one of the special sets that we have that we can uh, use um, to integrate our uh, robotics to uh, uh, smart uh, cities. Okay, so mamaya po magkaroon po tayo ng mga actual demonstration sa pagbuo po ng ating smart cities. And of course, hindi po mangyayari yan without the uh, assistance and help of our resource speaker for today. Magandang magandang umaga sa iyo, Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilina Riel from uh, STEMI 5 Learning Center. Good morning, Ma'am Jen. Good morning. Kamusta naman? Na-disconnect ako. Napapasok na tayo. <laughs> okay. So, yan. Buti nakabalik ako. Medyo kinakabahan ako mag-refresh. Baka wala na pala ang connection, no? <laughs> okay, so ano ba ang paghahandaan natin ngayong umaga para po sa ating mga uh, taga-subaybay ng mga guruan? Okay, so ngayon meron tayong um, renewable energy which is also, as, as we have started before, part of the sustainability uh, goals. Ano? So talagang kailang kailangan na natin i-master yung sustainability and also we can uh, have how as teachers can we uh, share to the students and and make them uh, concerned about the community but as well as the um, ecology and no kasi minsan nakagustuhan natin isalba yung uh, ating life on earth nagsasuffer yung ating environment so we we will have to merge technology and uh, sustainability for both uh, humans and other creatures. Sabi nga ni Pastor Sani, we have to uh, take care of our earth kasi ito yung ating um, tirahan. Yan. Okay, tama nga naman. No? Wow. Kanina po sa demonstration po ni Pastor Sani no, sa kanyang pagpapaliwanag about the, the creation of, uh, of God, no? na kinakailangan naman talaga natin i-appreciate. Okay, so mamaya nga, tulungan tayo ni Ma'am Jen para mas talo pa natin ma-appreciate ang ating pong mga nakikita sa ating pong uh, kapaligiran. Okay, so siguro hindi na natin patatagalin pa ang ating pong uh, uh, talakayan. No? Sisimulan na po natin ang ating pong actual and discussion for today's topic on uh, Smart Cities. Series number one po ito sa buwan ng Julio. Okay, entitled Ecological sustainability, and renewable energy. Okay, atin na pong tawagin ang ating resource speaker for today, the owner of Stemified Learning Center, Ma'am Jenny Lu Pangilinan Riel. Ma'am Jen. 
Okay, so bago ako, si Ma'am Annalyn muna. So, uh, why um uh, magandang partner yung Felta because we have um ano, kids malaki yung Lego education. So, let's hear from Miss Annalyn muna kasi she will showcase um our kids sa Felta Multimedia under Lego Education, di ba Ma'am Annalyn? Nakamute ka. Nakamute ka, ma'am. Alright. Yan, go. Right. Okay. So, uh, powerful morning to uh, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to show you on how we will inc incorporate our robotics um, program in system on how we uh, will create a smart cities. Okay. And to begin with my um, talk for this morning, let me share with you uh, a, a smart city videos. Wala pong audio, ma'am, Annalyn. Ipashare na lang ulit. Sige, ma'am, i-share po ulit natin yung video, no, para makikita. All right. Yung... Okay. One, one time. Share ulit natin. Kasi walang audio kanina, eh. Okay na, sir. Share mo ma'am, share. Okay, so this is always experience, no, during webinar. Just for a moment. Yes. Sige ma'am, share mo po yung video. Okay. Mamindi siya naka-play. Okay, just for a while. Yan, sir. Yan, okay.
All right, there you go. So that is um, the smart city that what we are uh, aiming for. Now, um, a smart city is an urban area that uses uh, different types of electronic internet of things like sensors to collect data and then use insight gained from the data to manage assets, resources, and services efficiently. In return, using that data to better improve the operation across the city. So as you can see, that is the smart city that uh, what we all are aiming for. Now, um, let me incorporate up, um, how, how robotics um, will help in order for us to achieve uh, this uh, smart city. Now, uh, I'm going to introduce um, WRO 2019 challenge that we have uh, last year because uh, this is our team uh, last year in WRO. So for our robotics, as you can see from uh, the FLL uh, video a while ago, um, we are trying uh, to create a program and system in order for us to achieve this uh, smart city goal. Now, for um, for uh, elementary uh, uh, category, um, we are actually using a different set. So we have for elementary, we have for high school student, and we have for senior high school student as well. Now, what I'm going to introduce today is the challenge that we have for uh, elementary uh, category. Now, uh, in smart cities of the future, the technology of driverless cars might also be used to redesign school buses as autonomous and electric uh, vehicles. So let's talk about driverless school, school buses. The driverless school bus will uh, pick up the children up directly at their homes and drop the children off at schools. And since that driverless school buses are only in use for short times of the day, a driver school bus can also be used as a delivery van to, de to deliver food to the school. So first is let's talk about autonomous emergency uh, braking. When an autonomous driverless car detects an obstacle in front of the car, the car stops to avoid a collision. Now, I have here a prototype a car. Okay, Sir Wax, can you please uh, share, my ca uh, share my camera so I can see them, the prototype creations that I prepare? All right. Uh, there you go. So using the Lego Education, we do two-point set as introductory robotic set, okay? Um, we use uh, these materials in order for us to uh, create, okay, uh, prototype uh, materials, all right? So with me, I have here um, a sample car, all right? As you can see from the sample car, it comes with uh, the hub that serves as uh, the brain of the robot. Okay, we call this hub for we will uh, connect all the electronic components in here. All right, so what are those electronic components that we have? We have here the servo motors, this one. All right, this servo motors is the one in charge to make our car move. All right, and then right after that, the good thing about with this car, okay, it also comes with a sensor. Okay, this is a uh, this is this serves as the ultrasonic sensor of the uh, of this car. All right. So as you can see, we have here the complete components. We have here the hub and the brain of the robot, wherein we will attach all the electronic components. Then we have here the motor, and we have here the sensor. Now we are talking about autonomous emergency braking. It says that when an autonomous driverless car detects an obstacle in front of the car, the car should stop to avoid collision. Now, using this LEGO Education, we do 2.0 wherein we incorporate uh, those electronic components in here. We will program our uh, smart car uh, to execute that certain autonomous emergency braking tasks. All right? Let me show you a demonstration.
So I'm going to position my uh, robot here. So the thing is, with this autonomous emergency braking car, um, uh, the uh, the thing that we will execute is the car uh, will be moving forward continuously and when it sees an object, okay, we will program a robot to execute an autonomous emergency braking task. All right, so as you can see, the robot is already, uh, the robot is already uh, connected to our uh, device. This is an indication that uh, the robot uh, is already connected to our uh, device. Okay. Now I'm going to reposition my robot here. So you can see. And then we have their uh, minifigure that would serve as the, as the object. Right. So there you go. Let's make it move. So as you can see, this is the this is the motor that in charge to make our robot move. And then in front of the smart car, we have here what we have here a uh, sensor. All right. So I'm going to use uh, this sensor to make my robot uh, move forward uh, continuously. And then when it detects object, it will execute the autonomous emergency braking task. All right. Let me show you. Okay, ready, set, go. Oops, one more time. Let's just have this one. Let's reduce the power, I think. Okay, ready, one, two, three. There you go. So as you can see, those are the things that we can do with our uh, robotics practices and program. So that is a task of an autonomous emergency braking task. All right. Our next example is the auto automatic parking. All right. When a driver uh, drives the car into a parking place, the driver performs a sequence of a car maneuver to the parked car. Okay, if the car is equipped with an automatic parking option, the driver can turn the automatic parking on so the car can perform the parking maneuvers autonomously without the driver up controlling the car. So let's use again our smart city. Okay, so uh, technically, uh, let's say that we have here samples of cars and then executing the automatic parking our robot will automatically park using the sensor. All right. So there's the sensor. And automatically, our robot parks on this area. All right. That's the thing. There you go. Okay, let's continue. I, now, I also have here another set that we can use uh, for uh, creating um, this uh, smart city uh, goal. So, we have here an, a 9688 Lego education set, okay? This is actually an extension set. Okay, there you go. This is actually an extension set for our simple power uh, machine. So it this is a renewable energy add-on set. All right. So as you can see, uh, the good thing about with uh, with this Lego Education set is it comes with a solar panel. Okay, that we will be using in order for us to uh, uh, control uh, control this. Right, there you go. As you can see, uh, this is uh, connected to uh, EB3 uh, brick. And then um, it also comes with, uh, that's the solar panel, this one. 
Okay? And then, it also comes with energy meter. There you go. And then, it also comes with uh, e-motor, lights, and extension wires. Right? All right, now, Sir Rox, can, I, I, can uh, you please uh, show again my uh, presentation? So let's talk about the uh, renewable energy. Okay. So um, for renewable energy, uh, we'll be uh, using the 9688 um, renewable energy set that I showed you. Okay, with this, I have an example of a hand uh, generator. With this hand generator, the student will explore uh, the concept of scientific investigation, conversion and storage of energy, investigating and evaluating variables, and informal and formal measuring of distance, time, speed, work, uh, reading, predicting, and interpreting data. So in Lego education, uh, we uh, use the 4C approach uh, in uh, using the materials um, per classroom application. So for Connect, um, the generators have the ability to convert uh, mechanical energy into electrical uh, energy. Uh, the human body can operate a generator by turning the handle. And then the faster we turn the handle is the more electricity that we can uh, generate. Okay, later on, I'm going to have my actual demonstration of a hand generator. Then right, right after our uh, connection, we will proceed to a uh, construct phase. We're in, we will build the hand generator and the dual chip. And then right after building, we will test the model's functionality. Loosening bushings can reduce our friction. And what we will do is to connect the plugs properly by pressing them firmly together and make sure that turns the joules reading to zero before uh, counting. And then right after that, we will move forward with the contemplate, okay? This is a turn and go activity. The task requires students to investigate is how many joules that the hand generator can accumulate up a time period of 60 seconds and see how far these joules can power the joule jeep. Okay? Then right after continue, it's all about gearing up. Uh, the task required the students to investigate how many joules the rebuilt hand generator can accumulate right after a time period of 60 seconds and then see how far these joules can power uh, the joule jeep. Uh, now, let me show you uh, an actual uh, demonstration. Can you please uh, share my camera again, and um, Sir Wax? Okay. So, right after uh, the demonstration of a smart car, Okay, we have here on my side, ayan, a hand generator. Right, there you go. So this is the hand generator. As you can see, okay, this is the motor in order for us to uh, use the hand generator. And then we have here gearing on the side, okay. And then we have here uh, the Joule Jeep, okay? This comes with the energy meter. Okay. So this is the energy meter wherein we can see the transferred and uh, the transfer electricity. So this will serves as uh, the monitor, okay? Now, uh, the thing is, how to do it since we have here uh, the motor right what we're talking about uh, with this hand generator um, um, activity is um, from a um, mechanical uh, thing okay so we will be creating a mechanical electricity that we will transfer uh, that we're going to transfer here in uh, in the ship okay so from a mechanical uh, electricity 
electrical uh, energy. Okay, so this is how it will work. We need to do it uh, manually. Mr. Lance, can you please hold this one so they can see? Right. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, this is the car wherein we will uh, transmit the... It's already actually working. Mr. Lance. It's already moving backward. There you go. Your lens. Okay, there you go. A mechanical electricity. Okay, as you can see, this is already moving. Okay, and stop. So from a mechanical electricity that we made with our John Henry tour to uh, a transfer uh, with this uh, via energy uh, meter, right? So um, the good thing about with the materials, okay, okay, uh, as you can see, we have here uh, the motor, and then we have here uh, the energy meter, wherein we can uh, actually um, monitor uh, the transferred um, electricity, and then. We also have here um, the solar panel. Yeah. The solar panel that supposed to be partner on this uh, creation. Okay, there you go. This solar panel is actually uh, working so we can use this via connection with Lego Mindstorms NXT uh, robotic sets. All right. And then, okay, the good thing about uh, with the materials uh, with this Lego Education Renewable Energy Set, okay, um, we can actually uh, use uh, this set in connection with um, our Mindstorms um, line, which is NXT and uh, EB3. Okay, and then the good thing about with this is it also comes with a curriculum pack wherein we can actually use the material set for um for investigation and our research, right? So, uh, that's all for my uh, short demonstration. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and teacher Jen will take it away for uh for uh the whole sessions. And she will be embedding all the all all the important uh, keynote in order for us to achieve our goal for this uh, webinar. Okay, uh, Miss Chen. Before I'll end my uh, short demonstration talk, let me shout out my baby Pete. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hi Alison Pete. Okay, hi baby. Good morning. She is watching right now. Thank you, Miss Chen, and take it away. Okay. Wait, lang, Ma'am Ann. Patingin, yes, ma'am. Patingin ulit nung ano, nung uh, ano yun, wind turbine mo pala. Yes, Ang yes, ma'am. Ang ganda, ma Parang gusto ko tuloy ng ganyan, nakakaingit naman. <laughs> okay, so pe, uh, sabi ni ma'am Ann, pwede, pwede ikabit dyan yung solar panel, tama ba? Yes, madam. Yan. So, yan. Kasi, um... Yung mga blades niya wala dun sa ating EV3 kit, no? Kaya baka yes, minsan, minsan uh, hinahanap nila dun sa kit kasi hindi, mm -hmm. kasi nga specialized kit siya. Pero if uh, if they already have the existing, it's just an add-on, ano po? Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. And then, the oh, kasi ako contact, kinokontak kasi nila ako for the kit, so... Mm -hmm. Pwede silang mag-PM sa Felta Multimedia or email doon sa website, di ba? Yes, ma'am. O, oh, yun. Yan, para if you have questions, you can ask Miss Ann on how to uh, go Actually, over. Actually, ma'am, 
Actually, I'm this is the... No, ma'am. This is a simple ah. power machine. So, ito yung oh, initial set. This is the initial set for uh, this uh, certain activity. And then, it will just uh, this uh, uh, add-on uh, set mm -mm. in order for us to create uh, more activity. Right? Oh, kasi mas ano yan eh, mas user-friendly yan, lalo na pag LM. Kasi pag high school, senior high and going up to college, actually pwede siya. Depende na lang din kasi sa prof at sa teacher kung paano niya elevate, no? Pero uh, yes. do we offer yes. that din sa ano, tech book, di ba? Sa Felta tech yes, book. Yes, ma'am. Kasi may nagtatanong din. So, eh, hindi ko alam ang sagot. Kaya habang nandyan kay tata <laughs> tatanong ko na sa'yo. So, yan. So, those who were asking since kahapon kasi I was uh, at the background during your uh, webinar. Congratulations, ma'am. So, Thank yun. you. Pwede silang mag-PN. Correct? Yes. Yes, definitely. Yes. Oh, okay. So, ayan. Mamaya, nandiyan lang si Ma'am Ann. So, pag may question po kayo, pwede po kayong mag-chat doon sa ating, uh, mag-comment doon sa ating FB. Eh, ay, FB na watch party ni Sir Wax, hindi namin nababantayan. Doon po kayo mag-comment sa uh, YouTube live na. Yan. And then, please enable StreamYard kasi po ang lumalabas lang po ay Facebook user, madaming Facebook user. So, kapag may specific question, di namin kayo ma-address. Yan. Ayan. Salamat po, Ma'am Ann. Uh, thank you so much. Take it away and good luck, Madam. Ayan. Sir Wax, I will uh, share my screen. Rocks. The rocks. The share screen, go please. Na share na siya, nagluluod din. I'm going lang siya. to nawala pala siya. So, nawala ang kanya pong connection. Kaya pala ayaw mag-load ng kanya pong presentation. So, we have to wait a little para po uh, makapas po ni po ang ating source feature. Okay, hey, Ma'am Jen. Ayan. Yung kaya ko na mawawala. Ito so, mawawala ako. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, madam people. Ito na po, isi-share ko na ulit. Isko Lord. Kailan kaya kakabit ang aking internet. <laughs> Ayan. Yes. Back to the ball game. Okay. So, kita na ba, boss? Kita na. Kita na. Iran ko na nga. Kita po. Yes, kita. Hello, Sir Wax. Kita, kita. Okay, okay. So, wala na po akong nakikita sa panahon ngayon. But I will uh, call you na lang, Sir Wax, if I need to show something. Ano po? So, uh, good morning po, everybody. Thank you, Miss Annaline. And uh, napakaganda ng kit, napakagaling ng presentation. Uh, ecological Sustainability and Renewable Energy. So, what... Uh, uh, the Felta Group uh, showed you is just part of the sustainability uh, series of renewable energy. So, itong sustainability and renewable energy is uh, one of my favorite topics. Um, if you will, if you can see, we are in the Smart City Series One. Meron po tayong uh, uh, iba pang series. Uh, we also have gears. That goes with automation. Babalikan natin sa Tinkercad and we'll have uh, Sir Dom and Ms. Anne ulit. We are going to focus on energy. So what makes a city smart? So sa ating pong poster, you will see all the aspects. Actually, madami pa po yan. Sustainability is uh, one of my advocacies for the NASA Solar System Ambassadorship. Uh, we focus on Earth and your health. So... 
Yan po yung ating uh, ginagawa. So, hindi lang po dito sa Pilipinas nagpa, uh, nagte-training ang mga teachers. Even sa US po, uh, we had uh, an immersion sa isang uh, malaking-malaking community sa Virginia. Medyo bukid pag nakita niyo po itong picture and yung uh, tubig dito. So, these are the the teachers that I've been working with. We have sustainability workshops then. So, Part of teacher support of the Lego Education is meron tayong mga resources sa website ng Lego Education. This particular session focuses on the exploration, transfer, transformation, and storage and dissipation of energy with reference to the conversion of wind energy to electrical energy. And meron po tayong focus sa isang specific na renewable energy source. Kanina, ang binigay po sa inyo is solar and um, hand-generated uh, energy sources. So, the key objectives is the students will have to explore the concepts of scientific investigation. Uh, natututo din sila ng formal and informal measurement with regards to time, uh, distance, speed, work, and power. They will also have to uh, undergo reading kasi maraming uh, web resources, predicting and interpreting data, yun yung pinaka-importante. They have to be curious about uh, energy and sustainability. What do you need? Uh, sabi nga nila kanina sa ni Mas Ana, there are options. You can have the 9686 simple and powered machine sets. You can also use the 9688 renewable energy add-on set. You need adhesive tapes. Importante yan. Fan with at least uh, 40 watts effect. Rulers and measuring tapes. Yun po yung mga, mga dapat ilagay nyo sa teacher toolbox. And of course, eh, kung wala po tayong budget for the kids, pwede naman po tayong mag-improvise. What I am going to show you is uh, pwede tayong mag-design virtually using LDD. So alam ko mayroon na kayong LDD so hindi na ako masyado nag-effort kahapon at saka isang araw. You attended the uh, EdTech Unit Workshop with Lego. Um, Nag-download din sila ng LDD. And for this particular lesson, marami siyang standards na sinusunod. Uh, I know we are already supporting the NGSS standards. We have the Disciplinary Core Ideas on Physical uh, Science. We have MSPS3 Energy. The cross-cutting concepts included in this lesson is cost and effect mechanism and explanation of the mechanism, scale, proportion, and quantity, systems and system models, energy and matter, flows, cycles, conservations, and structures, and change. Yan. Um, NGSS po, if you are not familiar, is a next generation science standards. So, ang strands na dinadaanan nito based itong ating Lego Education Lesson is HSPS3, which is energy, the HSESS3, which is earth and human activity, and the last one is the engineering, technology, and applications of science. So there are science and engineering practices, so kaya po itong lesson na ito can be uh, from elementary to college level in the engineering university level kasi uh, malaki po yung sakop nito. We also uh, adopt the Common Core State Standards in English and Language Arts. May mga parallel uh, lessons po yan. If you are going to look at your curriculum guides and pacing guides, uh, similar din naman po, developing models, uh, carrying out investigations. So, yun po yung mga basic <clears throat> content. So, our agenda for today, teka lang, check ko lang kung tayo ay my connection pa, okay. <laughs> Napapraning ako kasi walang internet. Okay, our agenda is what is sustainability? We have renewable energy. What can you use to discuss this in your classroom? We have ecological sustainability. What is, how is it different from plain sustainability? We have windmills versus bats and birds. And what is our desired output for today? Ayan. So let's start po. 
Yung pong ating sustainable development goals na ating focus for today is goal number seven, which is renewable energy. And goal number 15, life on land. And goal number 13, climate action. So ano po yung ating mga, yun po yung ating uh, target. And of course, number 11, which is sustainable cities and communities. Kailangan nating maging sustainable. What is sustainability? Why is sustainability important? So, ang sabi dito, while we are causing, uh, we have, we are meeting societal needs, we are causing the resources to de to decrease. So, therefore, pag nag-meet sila sa middle, hindi na sustainable. Hanggang doon na lang sa gitna ang ating uh, masusustain. What if we go beyond mas maraming tao, mas matagal na panahon, wala na po tayong uh, mabibigay sa kanila, wala ng future. Okay? So, ano ang ginagawa natin to, to help out? So, we are trying to focus on sustainability, science, and actions. We apply science concepts and combat the need for more resources na nagdi-deplete na ngayon. Okay, and some, some of them, uh, uh, after depletion, walang-wala na talagang recovery. Yung iba may byproduct pa. Yung iba, wala na talaga. But first, a word of caution. Ano ba ang focus natin ngayon? So, lagi na natin naririnig ang climate change. Lagi natin naririnig depletion of resources. So, uh, for example, ito yung problem natin. Problem natin, traffic. So, sana hindi ganyan pag tapos ng, ano, pag alis ng GCQ, no? Okay, so sabi natin, okay, solution is... Um, provide bicycle. So therefore, itong ating mga government agencies nagsusulat naglilinya ng bike lane, naglalagay ng barriers kasi daw the new normal is to ride your bike again. So maraming bumibili ng bike. And government agencies are promoting kasi daw for fun and fitness, for happiness, saves money, fresh air in theory kasi syempre depende sa location. Convenient, safe, there's freedom in movement makakadaan ka kung saan magustong dumaan, it saves the environment and reduce traffic congestion in cities. And ngayon, lalo na ngayon, walang, walang congestion pero wala ding means of transportation. So, katulad sa ibang countries, sa Australia, naglagay sila ng mga, ano yan, parang prepaid bike, maghuhulog ka ng coins, parang borrow and then return to another station. Sa ibang countries, meron din. So, ganyan, ang gaganda ng kanilang mga bikes. Ah, diba? Sa Japan, meron din. Sa China, meron din. Pero, after some time, this is what it looks like. And after some time, pag gumamit ng bike, iiwan na lang kung saan-saan. And after some time, ganyan na. Hindi na katulad kanina. So, padami siya ng padami. Hanggang maging ganito na, Hanggang sa maging ganito na. Okay? So, kamusta naman yung ganyan karaming bike? So, baka dahil tayo medyo late na sa ganyan. Malamang matagal pa bago tayo umabot sa ganito. Kasi wala tayong pambili masyado. Ng, hindi lahat nagbabike kasi marami tayong public transport. At maging ganyan. So, yung mga junk shop nila siguro ganyan yung itsura. Ano nangyari? So, when we connect, the problems we face promoting uh, sustainability are not just more complex, they are of different classes. Marami issues. So, when we try to in, uh, apply technology and uh, solutions, nagsasuffer yung ibang areas. What is the definition of sustainability? Ang sabi dito, sustainability means meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability to meet future needs. So, kung gano'n na mayayari, paano na yung future? Katulad yung sinabi ko kanina. So, therefore, uh, people are resulting to uh, resourcing renewable energy sources. So, there are six that are presented here. We have solar, we have wind, we have geothermal, hydro, bio, and tide. So, yung mga 
nagtuturo ng science, ano, sobra na silang uh, pinapromote na nila to kasi this is embedded in their curriculum. But then, if you are not teaching uh, science, you can still uh, incorporate this in your lesson sa hanapan lang natin siya ng kaparalel na uh, concept or topic. Okay? So, saan ba nang, nang gagaling yung mga renewable energy? So, I found a few clips which I want to share with you. Let me find it. Mm -hmm. Wait lang po. Ayan. Energy consumption is a huge part of our daily life. We eat with energy. We travel with energy. We work with energy. And we even flirt with energy. But where does all of this energy come from? Today, we gather most of our energy from coal, oil, and natural gas, also known as fossil fuels. Additionally, we gather energy from biomass, nuclear, and renewables. Fossil fuels consist of extracted decomposed organisms and plants that existed millions of years ago. Biomass converts plants into biometric material to produce energy. Nuclear energy is released. Lastly, renewable energy comes from a source that's not depleted when used, such as wind or solar power. But what's the profound difference between them? How they affect our planet? Fossil fuels cost more than what we pay at the pump and impacts our environments in many ways. These impacts include global warming, air quality deterioration, oil spills, and acid rain. It's also projected that fossil fuel resources will be depleted within the next 50 to 100 years. Biomass and nuclear energy also have similar issues. We need a solution relatively fast, and luckily, we have one. Renewable energy comes from resources which naturally replenish in our lifetime, whereas fossil fuels are a one-time use resource in the human time scale. Resources for renewable energy include sunlight, wind, rain, tides, waves, and geothermal heat. The best part is that we don't need to compromise our planet to harness it, nor do we have to rely on other nations for these resources, which history has shown to be a contributor to war, famine, and political instability. So, how do we get this to look like this? Presently, we have the technology to be 100% renewable reliant. The truth is, our infrastructure is built around our fossil fuel dependency. If we could convert our infrastructure to what's known as a supergrid, we would be able to rely on clean, renewable energy. So, what's it going to be? Will our children live in a world full of pollution? Or should they continue the path of evolution? To learn more about a 100% clean, renewable energy future, visit the solution project dot org. Ayan. So, yun yung ating um, it's from the solution project dot org vid. So, if you are want to use it in your class, you can uh, use it. And then another uh, renewable energy that you can use in your classes will be from um, National Geographic. Uh, I will share the video again. Maiigsi lang itong clip, so good for your uh, classes lang. Around the world, renewable energy use is on the rise. And these alternative energy sources could hold the key to combating climate change. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy is generated from sources that naturally replenish themselves and never run out. The most common sources are solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and biomass. Over 80% of the total energy consumed by humans is derived from fossil fuels. However, renewables are the fastest growing source of energy in the world. Renewable energy has many benefits. First, it can combat climate change because it creates no direct greenhouse gas emissions. 
The only emissions that they produce are indirect, meaning those that result from manufacturing parts, installation, operation, and maintenance. But even those are minimal. Second, renewable energy can decrease pollution and therefore reduce threats to our health. Wind, solar, and hydroelectric systems create no air pollution emissions, and geothermal and biomass energy systems emissions are much lower than non-renewable energy sources. Third, renewable energy is a reliable source of power. Because renewable energy sources are, well, renewable, they will never run out. Once built, renewable facilities cost very little to operate and the fuel is often free. As a result, renewable energy prices tend to be stable over time. While renewable energy has many advantages, it is not without downsides. It is difficult for renewable energy sources to generate power on the same large scale as fossil fuels. Building wind farms and dams can disrupt wildlife and migration patterns and lead to ecological destruction. Both solar and wind energy are intermittent. They only generate power while the sun is shining or while the wind is blowing. Batteries can store excess energy for later use. However, they are often costly. While renewable energy presents some challenges, it also offers an environmentally friendly alternative to the greenhouse gas emissions and pollution of fossil fuels. And as advances in technology make renewable energy more accessible, affordable, and efficient, an end to climate change could be within our reach. Okay, so ayan. Wait lang, isa na lang. <laughs> okay, so yun yung ating mga uh, renewable energy. So how can you incorporate it in your lessons? If you are, uh, if you don't have time, alam ko ang daming ginagawa ngayon sa DepEd, you can go to uh, https slash slash education.lego.com and you just search for their lessons. Um, wait lang. Let's uh, show where those lessons are. So if you go to Lego Education, education.lego.com, you already have lessons here. So if you're looking for very specific, for example, energy, okay, just type it in the search box. Search. Sana gumana internet ko. And then, search natin. So, some of those that you will see, if this works, my internet connection problems. Um, th this is what it's going to look like for today. We're going to focus on this. And I I personally picked uh, renewable energy add-on set, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina. This is good for, it tells you, You can share it, you can print it, It's but don't share it to the students because there are a uh, teacher's guide in here. So you have 45 to 90 minute sessions. So it's good for one to two sessions. It depends. It's um, advanced. It's uh, for grade six to eight. Pero pwede na naman natin i-amplify uh, based on uh, ano yung level ng students mo. And then we can change the materials that we use. We can lower the, the levels and we can... Um, adjust into higher okay so uh sabi nga ni miss annalyn we have connect and then we have construct and then we have uh testing in here so if you are going to look at uh my slide here later makikita natin yan okay so uh, sa solar energy kanina, kung wala tayong pambili pa, we can improvise. So, yung solar panels and you can uh, share the videos. Meron din uh, renewable kit. You can use the Pitsco Solar Car or make your own version of it. So, ito yung sample. For fuel cells, also can be included. So, yung fuel cells, isa rin sa resources, although not mentioned before. 
And we, if you don't have the kit, ito yung uh, kit natin. Uh, for wind, like yung windmill kanina ni Miss Anne, meron naman na bibili na mga dowels, rods, and then you can design your own blades. And then you can use the generator motors po. So you can buy it anywhere. Pero maraming iba-ibang klase ng kit. Or you can improvise. So it's, uh, it's not too late to uh, explore these lessons. You can... Uh, use the LDD then later we will show you how okay so wind turbines ang ating uh, example kanina solar wind turbines have the ability con to convert the wind kinetic energy they are used to generate uh, electricity for larger utilities sabi nga sa video kanina ang problema dito sa renewable energy yung mga materials and uh, infrastructures will require a big space kasi kailangan maraming units to generate more power so uh, how does it work tingnan natin kung papaano nagwo-work ang wind turbines Around the world, renewable energy use is... Ayan. Okay, so... Na, live pa ba ako, Sir Wax? Baka disconnected na ako. Disconnected pa rin. Sir Wax, are you there? Yes, connected ka pa rin, ma'am. Okay pa? Yes. Okay, so yan. So ang wind turbines pala, it's uh, super complicated. That's why I told you, is I don't advise you to use the same uh, highly technical terms if you're teaching elementary, ano? Baka mabaliw ma ang mga bata. But you can always spiral. So as you go along and you teach the subject, you, you introduce a little bit of everything. Okay, para ma-ready sila. So, yung ating wind turbine and concept of relative velocity, which is the wind, velocity of the wind minus the velocity of the blade. So, yung mga formula in math, so you can um, uh, add more lessons into your discussion. You can actually, if you only have one kit, you can extend the lesson and replace some of the ones that you cannot and pass by and integrate. Okay. So, how does it work? Uh, remember, kasi gagawa tayo ng output, you have to have these specific parts na as a model. Ano? So, the wing, ang tawag natin, blades, wing pala ang tawag. So, it's uh, the incorporation of the turning of the wing, uh, the gearbox, uh, para ma-increase ang speed. And tamang-tama uh, to dun sa kanina with uh, Miss Anna, yung uh, hand gear. So, next week, we will also have gears and simple machines and animation the brake the generator the velocity sensor and the yawing machine so to change direction measure speed so syempre uh, models lang ang gagamitin natin okay so paano natin gagawin so uh, what i hope you have is your lego digital designer uh, sir wax pwedeng Ano ko? Split screen. Saan ba ako? Wait lang. Ayan. Okay. So, eto yung... Hindi pala ito. Ito palang isa. Starbox pa. Zoom in. Ayan. So, dahil wala akong kit. Sana all may kit. Ako wala din. Pero meron akong NXT. So, I have to improvise. So, if you have the kit, you can improvise. Meron tayong mga blades dito. And then you have the medium motor if you don't have it. And then you have the beams. So what I want you to do and try to use the Lego Digital Designer is to, if you don't have the kit, you design it. If you have the kit, you can build it. I don't think that most of the teachers have the kit, especially kung nasa school. So pupunta tayo dun sa... Uh, Wait, Sir Wax, uh, split screen with me in the screen. 50-50, pwede. Ayan, sana yan. Okay. 
So, dun po sa meron na, you open your Lego Digital Designer. Konting i-introhan ko lang ng konti. Those who are new to the community na ito ay sawa na kami. <laughs> Tuwing Sabado, lagi na kaming merong uh, achievements. Okay, so what we do is dun sa ating, ano, ayan. If you have the Lego Digital Designer, you just have to open a new app. So what I did last night, I started it na. Those who are having problems finding the parts, what you need to do is, um, kalang, sisave ko muna to. Save as windmill, okay? So yung windmill natin, Save natin sa Smart Cities. Ayan, bakit si mawala. Okay, so if you have the new tab, click mo lang po yung plus sign. Don't worry dun sa tab sa taas, madali pong pumunta dyan. So, we'll uh, open. Okay, you have the fresh slate. Uh, if you are using the mouse, mas madali, just click on the right click. And then, you can move it. Parang sa Tinkercad natin, yung button dito naman ay right click and then move para makita. If you can't find the parts that you're looking for and you want to look for, like Ma'am Annalyn has the, what you call it, the servo, what you need to do is go to, teka, tingnan natin kung masuzoom in ko. Ay, hindi pala. Lakihan ko na to. Okay, so punta tayo sa view and then you can go to new themes. You can go to Lego Mindstorm. Okay, so go to Lego Mindstorm and type in EV3. Okay, so if you type in EV3, you can get the uh, brick or you can get other parts. Or, if you're looking for a specific motor, type mo lang po motor, nalabas yung iba-ibang klase. So, ito yung mga options. We have this one, that, that the one that meron yung uh, karugtong, but we are looking for kanina sa atin. Ito yung function motor. Click it. Ayan. Ito yung parang katulad ng kay Ma'am kanina. And then, you can move this. So, you can uh, transfer. Okay? So, bali, ang concept po niyan is yung dulo nito na maliit na part na connector niya ay karugtong supposedly. Siyempre, wala tayong wire. So, do, yung mga iba po na nagtatanong, ma'am, saan po makukuha yung wire, yung connector wires? Pwede niyo pong i-type dyan. Uh, connectors. Ayan. Yan lang po lalabas. Pero, ah, uh, Alam ko sa extended meron. So, if you uh, want to use either one, pwede po yan. And then, if you're looking for, sabang ko, last time I tried blades, may lumalabas. Pero, yung iba, uh, wala. So, ang ginawa ko po, pag hindi nyo po makita dito, you can go to view, and then go to teams ulit. You can go to LDD. Basta po may nawawalang parts, lipat-lipat lang po kayo. Try po natin. Ayan, dito may lumalabas sa LDD na blades. Ito po yung mga sample kung gusto nyo gumawa. Ayan po yun. Kaya lang, hindi nyo siya naaanggit. Bahala na po kayo. Ang gagawin nyo po, ma'am, paano ko ito itatagilid? Uh, to use the hinge tool, you have to use a connector. Bibigyan ko lang po kayo ng basic. Kukuha po tayo ng isa. Okay. And then, use arrow keys to change perspective. Yan. And then, ikakabit nyo lang po muna dyan. Tsaka nyo pa lang po magagamit yung hinge tool. Wait lang. Ayan. Ayaw niyang mag-connect. Correct lang. Dito ako sa akin sa kabila.
Okay, so. Bakit ayaw nang gumalaw? Talaga doon sa aking isa. Babalik ako doon sa aking video. Okay, so. Para matilt niyo po. So, ayan. Ayan, i-click nyo. Kasi may, pag, may connector na dapat nag-tilt siya. And then you can uh, use the hinge tool. And then you can move this para natutwist nyo yung blade. So, using the LDD, you can design a windmill. And then you can discuss with your students uh, ano, ba, ano ba yung features ng windmill na ginawa nila. Okay, so... Bakit ganun yung pagkakatilt ng kanilang uh, blade? Tingnan natin para makita nyo. Zoom in. Okay, so ito, bakit kailangan ganun? So, katulad ng uh, diniscuss natin kanina dito sa ating uh, airfoil technology, no? So, pwede po natin i-incorporate yan sa LDD design. What are the position of the blades? And then, uh, you can start designing. So, ito yung, yung aking ginawa kani, kagabi. And then, I just uh, manufactured these. So, paano, ma'am, parang ang hirap hilahin nung po sa nagtatanong. You can highlight so, kapag po naha-highlight yung part, ibig sabihin, mag-iiba po ng color, sila po yung mag-group. So, para madali pong buhatin, i-highlight nyo lang, and then, go to groups, dito sa taas, groups, and then, click po yung create a group. So, makita nyo po dito sa, sa left side, meron ng groups. So, para pag uh, pinlik nyo po iyan, pag binuhat, pwede pa rin pong makuha yun, pero yan. Kapag nag-highlight po na green, kailangan kiklik, kiklik mo pa din. Okay. Pag nag-highlight po, ibig sabihin nagko-connect. So, iti-check nyo lang po paminsan-minsan kasi baka katulad yan. No? Baka may gap. So, titignan nyo po yung upper Side. So, make sure lang po na nakakabit lahat ng parts. So, alam ko sanay na sanay na kayo sa LDD, kaya kayang-kaya nyo na ito. Okay. So, yan po yung ating magiging isang output. So, babalikan ko muna tong presentation bago tayo uh, pumunta dyan sa susunod. Okay, Sir Wax, bago pala ako mag-proceed, may tanong ba sa ating uh, madlang people? So, ngayon wala pa naman. Sabi lang like, comments. Hello? Wala pa ma. Sige, diretso ka lang. Wow. Hello. Diretso lang, ma'am. Diretso ka lang. Parang nawala siya. So, hintay lang po natin sa makabalik ulit. Kasi meron po siyang uh, internet connection problem. Ayun. Kaya hindi mo ko naririnig. Wala ka na palang connection. Oo, oh, oh, correct. May tanong ba? <laughs> Sorry po. OMG. Okay, so, uh, while waiting, pwede tayong magbasa ng comments. Meron bang tanong? Pwede po kayo magtanong muna. So, yun yung first part, yung ating wind energy. Nagagawa tayo ng windmill. Ma'am, Jen, mm. linawin natin ang output natin for 
the first activity. Apo. Magde-design sila ng version nila ng windmill. So, based dun sa mga videos na pinanood, ano yung mga parts, they can put uh, labels, katulad ng ginawa nila last week, yung uh, ano, poster or photo collage, kung ano ang magandang design nila and give a little, uh, pwede nilang i-label yung parts, they can give a little, uh, ano yan? Explanation sa baba, uh, why they think that their windmill is one of the best design based on... Siyempre, pag, pag baby ang mga students mo, maraming lalabas na design. Mas magagandang gumawa yung bata kaysa sa matanda minsan. Eh. Diba? So, yan po yung ating output, no? Remember po, gagawa po kayo ng design ninyo na windmill. Oh, oh, use the LGD software. Pa, paano nila isasabit sa wax? Doon may ano ka ba yung Pwede ka bang gumawa ng link or post na lang nila sa Apis? Ano, may ginawa na akong uh, attendance na sasabit. Oh, ayun. Oh, ayun. Lalagyan ng link, isasubmit doon ang sasabit nila in JPEG or PDF format, no? Kayo na po ang bahalang mag-design. Apo. Uh, Yan. So, kung hindi po sila marunong, pwede pong gawin sa Word. Tapos, paste lang yung screenshot or snip, snippet ng inyong uh, design. So, yun yung ating unang output. So, as you see, maraming renewable uh, energy models. Balikan natin yung aking uh, PowerPoints. Okay. So, sa ating PowerPoint ulit, balikan natin. Ang pwede nyong model sa students ay uh, clean energy, which is uh, sa ating lesson ngayon ay ano, uh, solar and wind energy ang ating focus. So, kung wala kayong kit, again, you can improvise. Ayan po yung mga uh, example. Pwede rin po na if you are interested in purchasing the Lego Education Kit, Uh, okay po yan, no, pa, uh, hindi na po mahihirapan mag-connect kasi ready to connect na. And then, mer katulad nga nang sabi ulit kanina ni Ma'am Ann, meron na po yung curriculum guide. If you want to look at the curriculum, I mean the lesson plan, pwede po tayong pumunta sa Lego Education. Meron din po doon and then you can improvise. Okay? So, wala bang tanong, Sir Wax? Wala pa? Wala. Okay. So, punta tayo sa part 2 ng ating lesson. Okay. So, ang part 2 is ecological sustainability. So, in as much as we want to uh, do have a better life and a more uh, energy sources we are trying we are forgetting that we have to we are living in an ecosystem so the production of goods and services must not um, interfere with the capacity of the nature to regenerate and utilize its own resources for for life on land okay or in in water so kapag hydro yon yung ating uh, designs for windmill, pwede rin yan sa hydro. Actually, nung wala akong gamit, I even use spoons for hydro energy and just uh, touch them to the dowels and then you can uh, improvise kung wala tayong kit. So, ecological sustainability means the stability of climate systems, the quality of air, land, and water, the use of land and soil erosion, biodiversity. Dapat both species and habitats are compatible. And ang ating Earth's bio, uh, bio geo chemical system includes water. So, alin man dyan pwede natin... Uh, includes sa ating mga lessons. Water, air, land, biodiversity, and ecosystem. Okay? What is being faced by having windmills? So, hindi lahat ng ating nakikita na mukhang maganda ay maganda talaga. Sabi nga doon sa National Geographic, merong 
uh, mga cons, hindi lang pros and may mga cons din. So if you look at the photo, there are dead bats and birds. Ano yung disadvantage? Kasi these uh, creatures are are ano almost um ang habitat nila air air and then punta sila sa mga ano nila uh, trees pero dadaan sila sa air and migrate at some point in their life so ano yung ating uh, gagawin so i will share with you the cons naman what are the the cons of having wind turbines na dapat din natin i-consider. Estimates by the Department of Energy indicate that in the United States alone, there will be more than 100,000 wind turbines by 2030. John Anderson is policy director at the American Wind Energy Association. As time goes on, I do think that you will see wind replacing older plants that are being taken offline. But we're, we're really looking at capturing the, the new installation market. But wind energy developers in California and West Virginia are being sued by environmental groups. A growing number of groups contend that hundreds of thousands of birds and bats are being killed every year by wind turbines, mostly at night when bats and migratory birds fly around mountain ridges where many wind farms are located. Kelly Fuller is with the American Bird Conservancy. In 2009, a expert at the Fish and Wildlife Service estimated 440,000 birds were being killed in the U.S. annually by wind turbines. That was in 2009, before we had more growth of the industry. West Virginia, in the eastern United States, is a migratory corridor for birds. It's also an important habitat for bats, where millions have been dying from white nose syndrome. The illness has brought some species to the brink of extinction. Now they face another threat. This amateur video shows bats flying at sunset near wind turbines in West Virginia. Judy Rod is director of Friends of Blackwater, a West Virginia conservation group. She says this cave, close to a wind farm, houses thousands of hibernating bats during winter. First year, they found 430 dead bats and I think 50 dead birds in a very preliminary sketchy study, the expert that analyzed those figures, Dr. Tom Coons at Boston University, estimated that finding 430 dead bats meant that actually 10,000 bats had been killed in one year. That's because the carcasses are scavenged by foxes, crows, and other predators. The U.S. government supports wind energy development to cut down on fossil fuels and fight global warming. David Cottenham is senior advisor at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. He says the service does not have the authority to halt a wind project that's on a migratory path. But we do have the authority to prosecute them um, for violating the Endangered Species Act. Despite efforts to reduce collision, no permanent solution has been found. The industry opposes shutting down turbines that are in the way. Industry, government, and environmental experts agree that choosing the right location for wind farms could be a good solution. But often, the best wind currents are found in the paths that migratory birds and bats have been using for millions of years. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News, West Virginia. Ayon. So, um, video credits on sa VOA news and, and other resources that I found. Ano? So, if we have um, proper planning, pwede tayong uh, pwede nating uh, mapakita sa ating mga estudyante as young. So, when they grow, grow up and become engineers, they will consider having sustainable development and uh, ecological sustainability as well as uh, promotion of uh, renewable energy. Mat matagal pa naman ang ating uh, laban kontra dito sa climate change. Ano? Okay, so what uh, can we offer? So, Yung mga ating mga wind turbines na din design they often cause migratory birds and bats uh, lives, no? So imagine 400 plus thousand uh, na dead 
uh, birds and bats sa isang area lang 400 so equivalent to 10,000 kasi mga carcasses or mga dead bodies were scavenged by other wildlife but then it's still um uh, malaking figure so what engineers do right now and we can also use this in the classroom as one of the challenges is how can they design uh, birds and bats friendly or ec ecologically friendly energy resource in uh, renewable energy resources infrastructure ito yung isa so one is the bird friendly design so this is another video the last video that i am going to show you let me see Ayan. Energy created by conventional three-blade wind turbines is cheap, sustainable, and pollution-free. But according to current estimates, their fast-moving blades kill up to 300,000 birds annually in the United States. That could change with a bladeless wind converter called Safonian, designed by Tunisian engineer Anis Uni. He studied ancient sailboats and the movements of birds and fish to develop a parabolic dish that rotates in a peculiar pattern while catching the wind like a ship's sail. It's like a big ape in space. It's a movement that we can find in nature. That's why I told you the Saphonian is rich in biomimetics, because we find the same movement in fishtails when they are moving or in birds' wings. The bladeless converter creates less noise than traditional wind turbines and does not suffer from the gyroscopic effect, which makes it easier to adjust to changes in wind direction. The prototype is a little more than one meter in diameter, but computer models show it is scalable to bigger sizes. Uni hopes it eventually will be able to turn 80% of wind energy into electricity. In practice, we reached 1.7 times the performance of a traditional wind turbine. Economically, it is a machine that costs much less than an equivalent wind turbine. Tunisian company Safon Energy, which developed the prototype, has won several awards for the new turbine, including support from Microsoft's initiative to help African startup companies. George Putic, VOA News, Washington. Ayan. So, remember last week we had, um, last last week, we had Tinkercad on using circuits. Oh, and then last week we had Tinkercad using 3D modeling. So, ito yung integration ng Tinkercad plus LDD plus sustainability plus renewable energy. So, yung mga lessons ng series natin, kailangan na, hindi pwedeng inaral lang natin last week and then forget na and then inaral natin last last week, forget na ulit. So we have to combine all those lessons and design our uh, design our learning activities na ma-incorporate natin yung mga inaral natin last week. So, balik tayo dun sa ating Lego designer, no? So, yung iba... Na kanina sabi, may plan na, ngayon baka nag-iba na. So si Siphon ay isang dish uh, wind turbine na walang motor blade. So it's up to you to decide whatever you want para magamit natin sa ating uh, model. Ano? So this uh, activity is uh, giving the students options to do research so maybe this can be entries to the research then if they can uh, make models no so birds ang nagsasuffer and bats so therefore another lesson with the lego um education lessons is the watchtower so if birds and bats suffer from windmills let's apply the knowledge related to simple machine structures and engineering uh, stability para makapag-design naman tayo ng ating uh, watchtower. So, if you are going to the LEGO and search for watch, LEGO Education website, search for watchtower, ito po yung watchtower. So, yung mga photographers, yan po yung ginagamit nila. And then, if uh, we can uh, combine the wind turbine 
plus before the construction there's a watchtower and they actually observe if the area they will be placing the wind uh windmill will be part of the pathway ng mga migratory birds ang problema kasi migratory birds uh, use the airflow then para mas madali silang mag-migrate no hindi sila masyadong mapapagod kaya Maganda if we can uh, start with uh, bird watching and then observe and then use those observations as planning. So kayo na po bahala sa inyong mga students, paano nyo sila mabibigyan ng uh, design thinking approach para they design based on their willingness and eagerness to help solve this issue na matagal nang walang solution kasi nga may conflict of interest with human structure and ecological balance ano and ecological sustainability so the second part with the partner challenge is to design your watchtower meron na po tayong simple design dito so what you do is uh sir wax pati pwede pang pa-show my malaking me malaking me so, meron akong isang sample. Yan. So, ito yung watchtower na binild ng asawa ko kagabi at ako yung build sa taas. So, kung ano yung mga parts na nakukuha ko. So, pwede kang mag-design. So, dapat may mga nagwa-watch sa watchtower. Nag-improvise na lang ako kasi wala akong parts na sa center yung iba. I mean, naka-box yung mga parts ko sa rado yung center. Okay. So, ang dalawa ang ating output na i-design. Ang isa ay ang ating windmill. Depende sa inyo kung gusto nyo dish o itong may wing or blades. And yung watchtower. Partner yan. Watchtower muna. And then yung ating windmill. Kayo na po ang bahalang mag-design. Ngayon, hindi ko ginawa yun kahapon. So, balik tayo sir Wax sa aking screen, LDD. So, pwede po kayong mag-design ng isa pa. So, ito ay half-baked. So, dahil hindi, kung hindi nyo mahanap yung part, search nyo lang. Pwede kayong pumunta sa New Themes, Lego, ay extended na pala to, bricks. And yung mga red po, yan yung red version na extended parts. Minsan kasi hindi makita, ah, type nyo lang po, peg. Okay, hahanapin nyo lang po dito sa ibaba. Okay, pag hinahover nyo po yung inyong mouse, nagsasalita, I mean, may nalabas pong ano dyan, corrugated pipe, so hindi yan. So, hanapin lang po natin. And if you want to place a Lego uh, tao, so, ilagay nyo lang po dyan ay uh, Lego head, for example. Meron po dyan. Search nyo po kung gusto nyo mag-design ng sarili nyong uh, character, no? Nasa red kasi ako. Wait lang. Hindi pa tayo sa LDD. Ayan. So, ayan. Pili ka lang po dyan ng mga heads. Kaya na po bahalang pumili kung anong gusto nyong itsura nang nagbabantay sa watchtower and then you can uh, build your own or meron naman po diyang nahahanap na mga figures. Okay? So, yan. So, yan po yung ating So, when you create your poster, you can design the background and you can uh, screenshot if naguguluhan pa rin po kung paano mag-screenshot. Kasi po minsan ang nasesend po sa amin ay my ano, may mga putol-putol. I-type nyo lang po dito, uh, snip. So, lalabas po yung snipping tool para diretso crop na, hindi na po nasasama. Click nyo lang po yon Lalabas po yung snipping tool. Click nyo lang po ang new. And highlight the object that you want to show. And yan na po. Pwede nyo na po siyang copy. And i-paste nyo po kung dito po kayo sa word maglalagay, paste, and then para po nabubuhat, katulad ng tinuro ko sa inyo before, you can uh, remove background or wrap this text in front of text. 
okay? So, para nabubuhat-buhat niya po. And then, you can design. And then, file, save as. Piliin niyo lang po ang PDF. Of course, your file name must be your name. And then, i-type niyo lang po ay uh, ecological sustainability. O kaya, windmill and watchtower. Ganun po. Kailangan po may name niyo. And then, uh, in the first place, i-upload niyo din naman po yan dun sa set ni, sa sesend ni Sir Wax. Okay? Balikan natin yung aking presentation. Okay? So, yun po yung sa Watchtower. Uh, application po niyan is math. Uh, remember, you can uh, count the holes. So, may proportion and stability. And, uh, hindi natin matitest. Pero kung may actual kit kayo, pwede niyo pong matest. If you don't have a uh, Compatible uh, computers for downloading LDD and you don't have um, uh, kits, pwede po kayo mag-improvise and you can design and you can submit para po hindi masyadong stress. Yung iba pong mga laptop kasi ay bumigay na. Pero if you can do the LDD, much better po. Ay better po. Okay? So, what can we do as teachers? We have to teach sustainability for our future. We have to provide meaningful meaningful activities and incorporate all the lessons we've learned during the webinar series. Ano? And we encourage practice. Hindi nyo po, kung hindi po kayo magpa-practice gumamit ng software, hindi nyo po matuturo ng uh, mabilis kasi mahirap, hanapi, mahirap mag-sanay sa mga movements sa uh, software. So, try and try po and practice. And when you teach them to the kids, uh, keep uh, coming back. Uh, once in a while, you use the software pa din. So, yun po ang ating output. Use your LDD for your output. You create a windmill and you create a watchtower. So, design your own build and explain using LDD. Ayan. May mga tanong po ba, Sir Wax? Sa ngayon, wala pang... So, yung mga videos ko po, sa YouTube ko lang po yan ito. Thank you, Sir Jero Damien. Ayan, disconnected na naman yata ako. Marinig pa kita. Okay, so para po sa ating mga taga-subaybay, no, mga participants po natin for today, ang ating pong output should be uh, submitted, no, sa so, ibibigay ko pong link later doon po sa Power INC Group. And then, the format of your output should be in JPEG or in PDF file. Okay, so yan po ang isasubmit po ninyo as your output. Ang unang output will be making your own design of windmill and then yung pangalawa yung watch tower. So yun po ang inyo po isasubmit na output for today. Okay? Wind so, turbine. Uh, wind turbine. Wind turbine. Wow, windmill. Madaming wind turbine. Okay, ito yung... Tapos, ito yung watchtower. Ayan. Design, design. Uh, wala ba silang mga tanong? So, yung link sa, isesend ko pala sa'yo ang link ng, wait lang. Send ko sa ating chat ang link sa lego.education.lego.com para masend mo, sir, sa ating YouTube live. Para makita natin yung ano. Ayan. So, post it. So, put Ayan. the question.lego.com. Okay. Ayan. Visit nyo po yung website para po doon sa activity for today. Okay. Ayan, salam. Ay, nandiyan pa si Sir Ricardo Enriquez. Shout out, Sir. At saka sa Ninang ko. Nanonood, <laughs> Ninang Lorna. And uh, ating mga friends from the passionate STEM teachers and the friends from STEAM Power teacher friends, uh, please like and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel, Professor Wax Benson and uh, Felta Multimedia and the STEAM Power teacher. Ayan. Po, malapit na magpasokan, Sir Wax. Kinakabahan ka na ba? <laughs> so, wala po tayo ma... Face to face, no? Katulad po ng laging inaanunsyo po ng, ng Department of Education, 
para po sa mga magulang na nagpapa-enroll, no face-to-face po ang ating po masukan. Okay, so we have online uh, online uh, learning and then meron din po tayo mga modular. Okay, so option po ninyo yan. So huwag po kayong mabahala. Ang depend po ay patuloy na susuporta po sa atin, sa mga kaguruan, maging sa ating mga magulang at mga estudyante para po mas uh, ma- continue po natin ang ating pag-aaral ngayong pasukan. Okay, so COVID lang yan. Yan. COVID lang uh, yan. Uh, may ta- may tanong si Ma'am Juliet. Hello po Ma'am Juliet. Kamusta? Uh, kailan daw po ang deadline ng submission? Weekly po tayo. So next Saturday pa rin ang deadline. Okay. At saka ano Sir Wax? Natutuwa ako dun sa mga, di ba nag-LDD tayo? Diyos ko ano, April pa yon Hanggang ngayon marami pa rin mga, may mga bata na nanonood kasama ng kanilang parents. Yes. At may mga may mga nag-register pala sa atin na bata, hindi natin na-detect, dapat pala meron tayo. <laughs> so may mga sinesen sila sa akin na ano, mga LDD, yung iba, hinaluka yung kanilang mga Lego pieces. Siguro kasi wala na magawa bawal lumabas ang bata, no. So maganda po 'yan, encourage the kids to start and so when they come back to the classroom and hopefully they post in social media, they can encourage uh, other kids then kasi masyado na silang uh, na, na-engage sa mobile gaming. Pwede naman iba. So, siguro, mag-mobile gaming ka ng mga ilang oras and then mag-educational mag, uh, uh, design ka or Tinkercad or LDD or go to websites na sa mga tinuro ng EdTech unit. Or, the teachers who are watching can also uh, spend time with their kids para practice teaching. Para makikita na agad nila yung reaction, di ba, ng mga bagets kung nag-enjoy ba sila, ganito yung pin, pinlano ko, tinayay ko sa anak ko, nag-away lang kami. So, may mga, may mga gano'y eksena. Yes, malaki diba, sir, wax? mga parents, no, sa pagtuturo sa kanilang mga uh, mga anak. Ngayon, malalaman nila, no, bakit nagagalit minsan si teacher, no, for sure, yung mga oh, parents, oh. magagalit sa mga <laughs> Uh, uh, alam mo yung, ang mahirap dyan, kapag ka uh, anak mo or kamag-anak mo, kasi ako mga pinsan ko, tinuturoan ko, ano eh, magaan yung kamay mo pag, ay, ah, sumunod, point. <laughs> Parang gano'n. Oh, Ito yeah. minsan, oo, oh, na, na, na mo agad. Pero, um, ayun nga. So, itong ating uh, Smart City Series, next week, I going to... Uh, simple machines and automation. So, one of the other aspect of smart cities is automation. Nagbigay na si Ma'am Annalie ng patikim doon sa kanyang um, ano yun? Yung hand crank na generator doon sa kanyang moving car. So, ang gagawin natin is um, magde-demo ulit ang Felta. So, lagi natin uh, para makita nila kung ano yung kala kasi ng iba, EV3, EV3 lang. Tapos yung yung mga ex- expansion sets kasi maganda din yan gamitin for the classroom eh. So, ang gagawin natin is showcase yung manual and then uh, if Sir Dom ay available by next week, kung hindi siya available, baka i-move natin. Pero hopefully available siya. Yung, yung ating Tinkercad circuit, i-coconnect natin sa ating gears and simple machines. Ayan. So remember, uh, every Saturday po ang ating po specialist training, no? And this is mm-hmm. by Felta Multimedia. So uh, our educational partner will continue to uh, help and assist us uh, to to learn more on robotics, no? Kasi number one po mm-hmm. ang Felta pagdating po sa robotics, kaya nga po, salamat po kay Ma'am Maylene Abiba for giving us uh, her time. Ganon din po ang kanyang company to help our educators nationwide and abroad and it's free okay at the point to so every saturday po ayan kunyo kami kasi ihahatid pa rin po namin sa inyo for the whole month of July ang smart cities okay so oo nandiyan na ba si Ma'am Maylene si Ma'am Maylene busy girl yan madami yang meeting meeting uh, yung mga ano eh mga guesting <laughs> okay guesting oo intense for the demonstration kanina for giving us the mm-hmm. demo. Uh, maraming po salamat. Salamat din po sa ating mm-hmm. mga teachers, no? Mga loyal teachers po natin na patuloy na <laughs> by, no? Uh, sabi nga po natin dito na quantity over quality. Quality over quantity. Quality no? over quantity. Okay. So, yan. Uh, 
Doon po sa mga nagpa... Meron daw kasi, sir, uh, version ng LDD na wala yung parts ng Mindstorm. Actually, hindi ko alam kasi, yung same software na dinownload, yun din naman yung sinend natin. Pero bakit pag sinesearch nila yung parts, wala? Siguro po we can uninstall, tapos install ulit. Yung akin nga, nag-safe mode eh. So, hindi ko rin alam minsan, pero... Uh, Si Ma'am Julie, kahapon nag-attend siya sa EdTech no? with, with Lego. Naka, nakausap ko siya sa comment box. So, hanggang kanin, kagabi, nag, uh, ano, tinatry namin. Hindi talaga namin mahanap. So, mamaya after ng webinar, i-help ko siya. Yan. Uh, nandiyan pa ba si Ma'am Annaline? Ano pa ba yung mga uh, courses na ating na-offer sa uh, Felta Tech Book and sa ano? Ang dami na natin, no, uh, simula nung uh, nag-start tayo with our webinar series, ang dami na natin na topic, oh. uh, topic no, for robotics. So, yan, andyan na si Ma'am Annaline. Ma'am Annaline, so do you have any additional yeah. info <laughs> our uh, series? Ma'am um, Annaline, ano mo nga kung ano yung mga lessons do sa tech book? Kasi ang dami nagtatanong sa akin, hindi ko naman masagot. Yan. Nakamiot ka, ganda. Alright. Okay, so good afternoon po. Red Tech Book Offerings po. Actually, that uh, program po is intended for senior high school students up to teachers who want to become a robotics uh, a trader as well. That's we also have po uh, the, the I Create Cafe Manila Learning Center wherein we have po uh, yung mga digital solution for online classes. So in line with that, we are offering Minecraft Education Edition for kids. And the program is designed for nine years old and up. And we are also uh, offering virtual robotics uh, uh, toolkit training uh, for kids and for, uh, for teachers as well. Oh, oh, and then, uh, Rich, Real DD questions po, doon po sa mga naghahanap ng mga EV3 parts na nawawala, uh, what you can mm. do po is re-uninstall and get the lower version. Ayun, lower version pala, di pala sa app. So, Oo, baka kasi yung higher version. Kasi merong 4.3.10, merong 4.3.12. Yes, ma'am. So, yun, oh, yun. yun yung... Yun po yung, ano. is, uh, share po yung lower version para po you can um you can uh you can share it as well doon po sa mga teachers na na hinahanap si EV3 parts. Oo. Oo, nababalo na sa kahanap. <laughs> Tapos ma'am, yung virtual toolkit, no? Kasi baka wala yung audience kahapon tas nandito sila ulit ngayon. Yun po ay IP based. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng IP based? Ibig sabihin uh, eh, Ma'am, si ano po kasi, si Virtual Robotics Toolkit po kasi, we are using uh, three uh, learning uh, resources. So, meron, uh, meron tayong ginagamit na simulation application uh, environment together with the EB3 lab programming environment plus yung ating uh, working space um, uh, learning uh, resources environment. So, technically po, it requires um, system uh, requirements. So, kailangan po for you to use it, i3 and up po yung ating processor. Tapos, uh, gagamit lang natin siya with web. Ngayon po, we'll be uh, posting video tutorial on uh, Pelta and ICC YouTube page. We can also share it with Power for uh, your references. Ayan. Kasi kahapon, nagmamakaawa sila, tulung ako daw sila, hindi, wala po akong magagawa kung hindi, ay tri pa taas. Kasi okay. seleron si MD yata. So, yan. Ang matutulong ko lang po ay ma-advise kayo na pwede mag-upgrade. At sabi ni GSIS ay pwede nang mag-technical loan. Di ba, Sir Wax? Yeah. Uh, yung ano... About, uh, uh, about with the uh, with Cognition Robotics po, since we are the exclusive partner here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. they are already working po doon sa lower version. But we cannot promise kung kailan yung release. But mm -hmm. the good thing about it, they are already working with it since um, they knew uh, yung ating... Um, 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 problems here in the Philippines three devices in order for us to reach all the students that we have here in the Philippines. Oh, kaya uh, like and stay tuned sa ICC, Delta, Semified, yes, Power, Tatna.
at na <laughs> group namin sa Wax para updated sila. Okay? Wala pa si Madam? Gumawa ko, oh, uh, gumawa ko ng greetings video for one of our uh, schools. Uh, I think po, uh, ah. in you know po, Miss Maylene oh, yeah. is um is a very busy <laughs> oh, person. Oh, oh. Nakadami na po, uh, meetings at the same time. Mm-hmm. Tsaka yung go negosyo, no? Every, oh, ano ba yun? Araw, every, basta may araw nakalimutan ko kung ano araw. But no, that she always post. There's no specific uh, schedule po for Goniko show, but since Miss Maylin po is one of the mentor, kaya po on call siya if there are mm-hmm. seminars and uh, webinars. Okay. Ano pa? Yeah. So, May announcement? Yes. Ay, Sir Wax? Yes. Nag-post ka na ba ng attendance? We're talking about the ano, mentorship, no? So we're going to make a group Uh-oh. course for specialized in robotics. So marami pong mm-hmm. anak-anak na kanilang mga interest. So we plan to do this para po makatulong po sa ating pong mga uh, interested teachers to uh, to learn about uh, robotics na uh, tinuturo po ng Felta Techbook at saka ng Felta Multimedia. Okay? So kita po namin kayo ng ano na na uh, information no gumagawa po si Ma'am Jen ng uh, poster guidelines. Pa- yeah. Pa- paano po kayo mag-join? Mm-mm. So, oh, pero yung uh, uh, yung textbook, yung Felta textbook, course talaga 'yon. May mm-hmm. bayad 'yon kasi course talaga 'yon, 'di ba Ma'am Ann? Yes, ano Ma'am. Siya? At saka okay. at test na accredited po siya, Ma'am. So oh, it's oh, a accredited no certificate po. Oo, oh, siya siya lang 'di ba? Yung siya for yes, Lego, Lego lang ba 'yon? Siya uh, lang si- 'di ba for the Si Felta Techbook po is the uh, first uh, Techbook Academy po na with partnership po with uh, TESDA. So when you enroll okay. po, uh, you'll be getting a national certificate. And then right afterwards, uh, you'll become part of uh, Belta family po since we are rendering uh, trainings po uh, uh, for uh, the whole uh, Philippines. Okay. Oo, kasi sobrang dami na. No? Hindi na na kaya nakatawang lupa namin ni Ana. Hindi na natutulog yan si Ana. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, oh, oh. ang partner po ni Pelta, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Oo, oh, oh. nahihilo na kami. Para sabi ko nga, ang, ang tanong nga namin, Annalyn, hoy, girl boy ka pa. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. So, Ayan, wala pa ang madam. Wala pa nga eh. So, Hintay na natin si mga uh, video. No? <laughs> Pede, pede. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. As a senior education specialist, I'm thrilled to share with you these exciting solutions that opens up students' minds as to how the world works. When combined with a simple power machine set, the Renewable Energy Add-on Set provides opportunities for understanding the three main renewable energy sources, solar, wind, and water. All lesson plans challenge your students to explore ideas, build models, experiment, gather data, and draw conclusions. As a teacher, I know that engaging and motivating the students is the gate to opening up a good learning. Lego education machines and mechanisms open up the students' minds as to how the world works. So that is from the Lego education. Okay. Ano, wala na naman si Mom Jen. Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find really good. Hello, Mom Jen. Ayan. Nawawala ako eh. Para kong aparisyon. <laughs> oh, wala. Tapos na tayo. Okay, so kanina po na pinag-reset uh-uh. ang video ng uh, Lego Education. Yung tinuro po kit kanina ni Ma'am Anna din. So if you have inquiries about the uh, the kit, uh, you may contact Felta Multimedia, the IK8 Cafe. And even sa Power and Stemify, pwede po kayong mag-inquire. Okay? To, uh, mm-hmm. to assist you how to help that uh, training kit. 
So ano, kita ko ba si Ma'am Maylin? Ako, okay. Ma'am Ann, ano? Ma'am Ann, Alin, may karagdagan ako ba? Siguro wala na. Anyway, so that's good call for this, uh, this day, no? for our uh, specialist training on uh, smart cities entitled Ecological Sustainability and Renewable Energy. So we thank you and all to our uh, dear uh, webinar participants for being with us and hoping that uh, makasama pa rin po namin kayo for the whole month of July because every Saturday we will bring you a different topic on on uh, smart cities. And of course, with our resource speaker, Ma'am Jen and Ma'am Annalyn, and uh, Sir Dominic, no? Na gagawan po natin uh -huh. in continuation for our series of webinars. So, muli, magandang magandang tanghali po sa inyo lahat. Uh, we thank you for... Oh, wait lang. O, oh, meron pang sasabihin si Ma'am Jen? Ma'am Jen? Oo. Uh, yung nagtatanong kung paano po kung... Ano ba? Nagre-register daw ba dun sa uh, ano, sa robotics ano natin, team? So, meron tayong uh, register... Nag-post ka ba ng registration, pre? Wala pa. O yan, wala pa. Kasi nahanap nila yung link. Sabi ko, parang wala naman. <laughs> Kasi kung magpo-post si Sir Wak, titatag niya ako. So, ang ginagawa po namin is we are trying to do uh, regional um, coordinators kasi ang target natin is to have a support per region. Yun po ang ating target. Yun po ang ating target. Ngayon, uh, hindi po siya exclu tatanong, exclusive po ba for Lego owners? Lego kit owners? Hindi po. Kasi STEM solutions po tayo. Therefore, we will have to maximize everything that we have. Ayan na, magandang babae. Pasensya na. Bumuha ako ng video okay. para sa isang school kasi nag-graduate ang kanilang mga senior high school. In high school. Oh, nag-graduate ang um, St. Patrick uh, School of Quezon City ang kanilang senior high school. Nagkaroon sila ng immersion, work immersion sa iCreate Cafe Manila. So ako yung munang nag, ano, nag uh, bumati sa kanila. Yes, oo, mga five students Ayan. yan. <laughs> ng multitasking. So, yan, mm -hmm. maganda yung ating topic for this month of July. Very relevant. So, kailangan, kailangan mm -hmm. natin talagang mag-isip paano natin matutulungan how to be able to think of the the new smart cities, how we are able to um, sustain also our um, environment while we're we're building a new future, di ba, for our um Mm -hmm. our country. Siguro yung pwede nito uh -huh. natin natin mga New normal. Donate, no? Mga LGUs po natin to participate also with our, our mm -hmm. We can help you, no? Uh, with Delta sa lahat po ng ano natin sa renewable energy using our technology, yes. no? Technology po. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yes, actually, that's a good idea. And in the University of the Philippines, meron sila mga ur urban planners. They offer urban planning. Yes. And I'm actually very active sa, sa BGC, sa Bonifacio Global City. I'm helping them uh, with the use of Lego for actually uh, for uh, evacuation center uh, building. Yun eh. They're using the Lego bricks mm -hmm. so that they can educate all the building owners, okay. yung mga tenants, and um, the visitors where to go in case of an emergency. So yun part of the urban oh, planning. Nice. Yun. So gumagawa kami ng mga buildings using uh, Lego bricks. So I think uh, yeah. that's a good uh, idea. So we'll invite them. Uh, we'll invite the young people to participate. Okay? Oo. Oo. Yun, so, nga, yun nga yung maganda. Sa, sa series natin, meron din tayong hopefully mag-push uh, through, no? pero we're still working on it, yung urban gardening for for yeah. uh, Tinkercad. Yun yung ano eh. Wala na kasi tayong space ginawa ng bahay-bahay. So we are using our bahay-bahay as a garden. Mm -hmm. Yun, ano eh. Yun yung pinagkakaabalahan ng marami. And how do they survive kung hindi ka na makapunta sa palengke sa ang kabibili ng gulay? So yung mm -hmm. mga renewable energy natin. You can even actually use the Lego parts and the Mindstorm kit into designing your own um, garden setup. Yun yung maganda, yeah. yung mga parts natin talaga, we can use it to design. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's very good, yeah. So we have a lot in store for July. Yeah, for food security, that's good, no? So we can do hydroponics, 
we can do um, a lot of uh, industrial arm. Yung ating bots, industrial arm now. Bots, so we can help uh, in the the new normal and sustainability. Yeah. So marami tayong magagawa dito sa ating mga specialized webinars. Very station lang po kayong lahat ng okay. ating mga dati, dati pang participants. No? Uh, we encourage you mm -hmm. uh, to collect no? and participate with us to learn more about uh, robotics. Okay. Hindi, lang, okay. hindi lang robotics, mara and, and more, and beyond. Okay. And, and beyond. more. Yes. Yes. yes, and more. And beyond. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay, salamat. Salamat, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga participants for today. Muli, magandang tahali po, and see you on Saturday. See you next week, uh, next Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you po. Thanks, Ma'am Anne, Ma'am Mai, and Paring Wax. Bye-bye. Okay.